Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Cancer. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for next seven days, so seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? But you could say October 30th through November 5th if you really got to have a date. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid and not every reading is for you, okay? This reading may not be for you, all right? So keep that in mind. Not every reading is. Um, take what resonates and leave the rest. This just fell out. Family matters. So I think that you are going to be dealing with some family matters this week. Let's just get one more. Family issues. Leg, stepping into a new experience. So you may be stepping into a new experience, Cancer. What do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? One of my sons is Cancer Rising, the other is Cancer Moon. So I have a couple of Cancers in my life. So what do we have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh, deep spiritual connection. So there's a deep spiritual connection here. Oh, Cancer. I mean, you're going to be right in your element, right? You're going to be in your emotions. You're really, really, really going to be feeling it. But, you know, people come into our lives for a season. They don't, sometimes they don't always stay. Okay? So that's a fact. You can have, we have multiple soulmates in a lifetime. Multiple. Multiple soulmates come into our lives to teach us a lesson. Okay, we don't just have one special soulmate. Okay, we have multiple. All right, there's some sort of unfaithfulness here. Somebody's not being faithful. Somebody's stepping into a new experience. Maybe they have another deep spiritual connection. What do we have for Cancer? I just cut the deck to, ooh, the Hermit reversed and the Nine of Cups reversed. So there's some sort of loneliness, exile, not happy. You know, this is unable to give or receive love, not happy. Not This is not what I asked for, feeling very lonely, feeling isolated. Uh, somebody may be going through a midlife crisis. There could be some self-loathing going on. Somebody may be having sex without love, staying in a situation just because they don't want to be alone. Okay, I just don't want to be alone, so I'm staying in this situation. Uh, I feel like it's time to get out there. It's time to get out of whatever the situation is because there's no happiness here. This is not wish fulfillment, okay? Um, wishing that you never would have got yourself involved, probably. Uh, hermit reverse, that is a midlife crisis. There could be a rejection here with the Hermit Reverse. There could be. There's loneliness, feeling isolated, restrictions. But it could be somebody here that is unrestricting themselves because they're not happy. They're moving a restriction. So what do we have for Cancer? Temperance. Temperance is a card of evolution. It is a card of change. It's timing as well. So this is about managing your feelings and finding the self-discipline to make a change. So there is a change that is coming, okay? It's changing, getting something, it's exchanging something lesser for something better. This is accepting and allowing that something is over. Death comes before this. So there's been some sort of ending or there is an ending that is happening now, okay? Um, either there has been one or it's happening. This is exchange. It's an exchange. It's receiving something better than what you had. Um, it's a time of evolution, accepting and allowing, going with the flow. Um, two of cups. Woo! So this is, this is a spiritual connection. 100%. Yes, it is. 
Okay, this is better than what you had, what you probably even imagined. Whatever ended, ended for a reason because temperance is a card of purpose and reason. So you are connecting with somebody on a deep spiritual level, okay? May even be some telepathy here, you know? Five of Swords, Queen of Cups in the past, Magician reversed, Eight of Pentacles, King of Wands, Six of, or Nine of Wands reversed, World upright, and the Four of Wands as the overall outcome. So this is a beautiful union. This is a beautiful partnership. This is a commitment. This is happiness, engagement, a get together, having fun. Um, there could definitely be an engagement or, you know, you could be getting in some sort of commitment or there's a commitment that is stepping it up to the next level. This could be, this could even be a new home. Okay. Some of you may be moving into a new home. This is a new commitment. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. Um, I got a sneeze coming. I'm trying to, uh, stop it. Okay. So there could be a reconciliation here with the Temperance card and the Two of Cups, a reconciliation between soulmates, okay? This could be a renewal um, between two people that have a deep spiritual connection. We have Cancer, okay? We have Cancer up there, and then we have this Queen of Cups, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but it could be any anybody. I feel like you have a very big heart. I think that you're falling in love. You've been falling in love. Or your feelings, you just really know. You really know that this is your match. You really know that this is your person. I feel like you know. You know this. Um, but presently, the magician reversed in the present position. I feel like there's a lack of, there's some sort of lack of awareness up there. Um, in action, unwilling to shed the old, unwilling to make a change right now, right now. So this is like presently the magician reverse. It could be unplanned. Maybe this is an unplanned connection. Maybe you didn't, you didn't ask for this, but here it is. Here it is. Sometimes that happens, you know, it just, that's the way it goes. So I feel like you do have an unplanned connection here. I feel like you didn't, you didn't expect this. You didn't expect it to be like this. Whoever you're dealing with is going to be putting in a lot of effort as well as you are. I, I see effort. I see mutual with the two of cups right next to it. This is mutual effort, putting in a lot of work, trying really hard. You know, somebody's going to be putting in a lot of work. Um, but below you, we have the four, five of swords. I think that there's some sort of um, power struggles here. Uh, there's struggles. There's struggles with... Uh, uh, ego there's struggles with um walking away from somebody maybe and there's indecision with the magician reverse there even could be some fear they're mirroring each other so i think we have somebody here that needs to let go of their pride they need to let go of their ego they need to stop fighting their feelings i feel like we have somebody here that's been pushing away their feelings they may have been pushing somebody away because um I don't know, maybe they didn't want to give up their independence. Magician is a very independent card because it's a one. One is one. It's not two. Okay. So somebody may have been pushing somebody away because of their, they didn't want to really commit. But there's going to be a real commitment here. Could even be an engagement. Could be dealing with a fire sign as well. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, we also have Gemini, we have Sagittarius, and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We also have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, and Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you've been dealing with somebody that you've been struggling with over power. Who's in control? Who's the boss? You know, and that's a big struggle. That is a big struggle. So I think that you've been struggling to... Uh, you know, that's like when opposites attract, right? And if it's a... It, I don't know why I want to say Capricorn... I don't know why I was going to say, and if it's a Capricorn, that would make sense on the wheel. You know, it would make sense on the uh, Zodiac wheel opposites. But anyhow, um, putting in a lot of effort. Somebody that I feel like you have been, I don't know if you've been, I feel like you've been estranged, estranged from this person or pushed away. They pushed you away or you pushed them away or, or somebody was unwilling to change. They were unwilling to take action or they were probably in their ego. And I, I, I do feel like ego is big with this five of swords. I feel like we have somebody here that uh, 
wanted to, it was like a battle, it was a fight, I wanna win, I'll, I'm willing to lose, because the magician is reversed above it, I'm willing to lose to prove to you that I'm the strongest one here. So that's the battle of the egos. So I think that you do have a deep spiritual connection with somebody, but there's an ego issue, issue, ego issue, okay? So I feel like at this point right now, this is putting in a lot of effort. I feel like we have somebody here that is putting in a lot of effort. Um, they're going to be putting in effort. I think that you're going to be putting in effort. Um, this could even be somebody new. It could be somebody brand new, okay, that sees your big heart, that feels you. You feel with this person. Now, when I say uh, reunion or reconciliation, we typically have known our soulmates in a past life. So yes, you may be having a reconciliation with somebody that you did not plan on, but this is a soulmate from a past life, okay? So this could definitely be somebody new. I do feel like this is a soulmate connection, okay? I don't feel like it's a fantasy connection, just so you know. I feel like it's a soulmate connection. I feel like uh, King of Wands. Somebody's about to take action, okay? I think in your advice is to think positive. Think positive. Um, look at this as an exciting opportunity to start fresh, okay? Because this is an opportunity to go on a new adventure, to do something exciting. Be, be positive. Think positive. That's your advice. You need, this is your advice, okay? You need to think positive. You need to uh, look at this in a new in a new way. Okay, I feel like you may have met somebody. This is definitely a match. This is exciting. Um, if you if this is a fire sign that you are dealing with, this person is they know what they want. This person is very excited. They are very very attracted to you, and I think you're going to be attracted to them as well. I think this is a deep attraction. It's a, it is, um, but in the external influence okay so your person all right your person is scared whoever you're dealing with is fearful they don't trust they've been hurt very very badly they've been they have scars okay they've been uh beaten down you know they've been beaten down they've been told they're not good enough you know they've had to fight their whole lives this person doesn't trust they have fear so whoever you're dealing with does have fear i think that you maybe maybe you need to be their strength maybe you need to give them confidence you maybe you need to really uh instill that positive thinking into them and, and and bring them up bring them up because i feel like this person has really been hurt so they don't trust um if you give them positive reinforcement, you know, things will only get better and things are definitely going to get better. Um, I think you guys are, are committing. You're going to, your, your, your level of commitment is about to step it up to the next level. Okay. We have the end of a cycle here. Okay. This is in your hopes and fears position. This is the end of a cycle. This is a whole new life. It's a whole new world. Okay. Whatever happened in the past is the past, leaving the past behind, stepping forward. Okay. Starting a new journey that does this, this journey is going to bring you a lot of happiness. The outcome is the four of wands. Okay, that is <coughs> extremely happy, extremely happy. So I feel like you are ending a cycle in your life where there's been, a, there's been some sort of hostilities, there's been a lot of fighting. There, I don't know if there's even been some violence, if there's been some abuse. There could definitely have been some abuse, you know, and maybe that's where all the fear comes from. You know, in the uh, now position, you know, the present position is the magician reverse. So I'm not sure if, you know, there's some sort of, well, I think I already said it, there's some sort of violence. There's some sort of, uh, I don't know, there could be even a personality disorder here. And I know I'm changing the subject, but the magician reverse mirroring the five of swords. We may have somebody here that has a hard time managing their feelings. You know, they... They, they go up and down with the temperance card. That is up or down. That is up and down. I think that we have somebody here that has struggled with. I don't know if they have a mental disability or paranoia or if it's extreme fear or some sort of disorder. Okay, so that may have been part of the struggle. May even be addictions. Either way, I see that there is about to be a change. Okay, and it's a good change. Okay, there's going to be a reunion and, and some of you may even be attending a reunion or a get together or something like that um there is a reunion here between two people that i feel have been estranged in some way or they've been fighting 
okay? I think the fighting is coming to an end. Somehow the fighting is coming to an end. Nine of Wands, giving up, giving up, giving up the battle, uh, surrendering. I feel like whoever you're dealing with has a new vision. They have a new vision. They're, they've made some sort of decision to... I don't know, give up the fight, admit defeat. I don't know, whatever's happening. This is the end of a cycle where there has been a lot of struggles, whether it's addictions that you've been dealing with or it's an obsession to a partner or, you know, whatever it is, this 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 period of struggle and fighting and uh, abuse, there's abuse here, whether it's drug abuse, alcohol abuse, addictions or a partner or fighting there's some sort of abuse here there definitely is this is it this is it something is coming to an end the world card is a major ending so this is the end it's the end and you're going to find a lot of happiness when this ends you're going to be extremely happy with this uh successful completion of this cycle because that's what the world is and the, the four of wands is it's happy. It's a happy home. It's a happy commitment. It's very content. So I feel like you're going to be very content with whatever decision is being made. A decision is being made. May even have to do with, for some of you, and I know this is completely out of, doesn't even really apply, but the King of Wands, I keep looking at it out of the corner of my eye. It's it's like, that. I don't know if that's a father figure or somebody, uh, a boss or a husband or somebody that is in a position of authority that it feels like, I feel like it's a family member and you know our brothers and our sisters and our mother and our father are are our soulmates as well so this could be a reunion with a family member okay so for all of you that think this is a sexual partner we have we have all our pets can be our soulmates okay so there is there is a reunion here with a soulmate and it could definitely be a family member that you have been estranged from, been fighting with. Um, things are gonna work out. Things are gonna start to work out and you're gonna be really happy with the outcome. Good luck.